Gallagher prefers her old style tape recorder. Agent Reed, what are you doing? Stop messing with my equipment. I was wondering if I could borrow your tape recorder. No, you can't. It'll only be a huh. month. I said no. Postissa on varmaan Antikin osa. People actually still use regular mail. In the latest statistics the department got, email usage outnumbered snail mail 80 to 1. But that was still 177 billion pieces of mail sent. What can I say? I'm a dork for statistics. Hello there. I'm here to retrieve a package. Name, please. Davies. Madison Davies. One second. Oh, uh, do you have your ID with you? I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. I need that package. It may provide clues to an ongoing investigation. It was sent to my boss, and I'm here to retrieve it for her. Oh, uh, sure. E ei toimi Suomessa. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know who sent the package? The package. Yes, this package. Um. Uh, no, there, there's no sender in front. Are you sure? Uh, well, just that it's postmarked from another Boston office. Sorry. If you find out anything else about it, please call this number. Uh, will do. <clears throat> uh, sorry. Sorry, Agent. Hmm. This must be important. Oh, boy. These look like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? This must be important. These look like pieces of the same picture. Who is this person? What does this open? What does it... It works like... Could use your help with Gallagher. What do you want me to do? You said your new hobby is to get on Gallagher's nerves. 
Can I see you in action? That would make my day. Wait two minutes and then meet me at the morgue. No need. Ah. Hello, Dr. Cadaver. Anything up? Bulby. Uh, what a surprise. No. I was just thinking about you. My pet cockroach just died, and I wanted you to run an autopsy. Oh, my lord. Please, it's very important. I'm very sentimental about it. Bulby, you should go back to your hole upstairs before I make you part of my job. Uh, I'm sure I could liven things up around here. I'm past counting to ten. That's awesome. Kamala, Kamala, Mr. Eric, I need to go back to my work. All right. No niin, nyt päästään kuuntelemaan todisteita. This is not going to work with this. Miksi? I hope Gallagher doesn't miss this much. All right, plugged in. Oh. October 12th, 2008. Recordings of case 342980, Sarah Goodman's death. Mr. Goodman, can you recall the events of the last time you saw your wife? It was last Wednesday. I had to leave again for a business trip. What do you do, Mr. Goodman? I'm the vice president of a goods export company. My job involves a lot of travel. Did your wife approve of your lifestyle? No, Sarah was never happy about it. Especially after we moved to Boston. We lived in a small town in California, but with the promotion, I had to move to the headquarters. Did your wife have any friends or acquaintances? No. Sarah was very lonely. Was she depressed? Where are you going with this? Please answer the question. Yes. Sarah was on antidepressants, but she would have never done this to herself. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away, so we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> Inside joke. I handed her a note. The note, sir. Damn. Hmm. But the top guess can go What would I need to reenact that time? Uh, okay. I wonder if I can find Sarah's grave here. I better leave her be. It was embarrassing enough already. Sarah. Sarah Goodman, here you are. I'm not too sure what I'm expecting to find here. Sarah Goodman, a loving wife, a life gone too soon. Yeah. I'm not too sure what I'm expecting to find here. What is this? It's an old locket. Could this have belonged to Sarah? 
Oh God, she was murdered. Poor woman. Hello. I I'm looking for Robert Goodman. Do you know where I can find him? Who's looking for him? I'm Special Agent Erica Reed, FBI. Can you point me to Robert Goodman? That would be me, Agent. Okay. What do you want? You were married to Sarah Goodman, is that correct? What about Sarah? I'm conducting an investigation on her death, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. I was wondering if you can come with me to the station. I'm sorry, but that's a part of my past I'd rather not relive. It would really help if you came to the office with me. No can do. I am fine where I am right now. Okay, we'll How could I convince him? Is this Sarah? Oh, Sarah. Yes, this is her. I don't remember when we took this picture. Mr. Goodman, I know this is difficult for you. I've read your file. I know what happened. There's new information on this case. I believe we may be dealing with a killer. There are others out there whose lives could depend on your help. Will you please come with me? I'll come with you, Agent Reed. But I'm not sure I can be of any help. McCoy? Red? I found something interesting in Davy's office. Reed, tell me you didn't sneak in there. Relax. Listen to this. Davy's got a fax yesterday. It mentioned someone was going to be hanged before the killing. So that's why she brought us in. The message also points to a package left in the post office for Davy's. Davy shredded the message. It must not have been fully shredded because later she pulled it and saved what was left. But why didn't she just mention this last night? She's walking on eggshells, and last time we cracked one, a lot went wrong. But we have a killer on the loose. She should have told us everything. You don't know everything that's happened around here, Red. Trust me on this, kiddo. I'm going to call her. I tried earlier. She didn't pick up. I found something really interesting. Yeah? Whoever did this left clues behind that are pointing to another old case. Go on. What? Well, here's the thing. This other case? It was a hanging too, but it was closed as a suicide. Apparently, the husband insisted it was a murder. What do you think? I need to gather more info. Keep me posted. I've brought Robert Goodman with me. He's the husband of that other victim I told you about. Good. Do you want a good cop, bad cop him? No. Let me handle this one. All right, let's go. I'll watch from outside. I heard you have Robert Goodman here. Yeah. You know, Erica, let the kid handle it with you. This was his case, after all. Plus, Sully can do some good grilling. Uh -huh. So you're determined to keep your lazy ass attached to your desk for the whole day? <laughs> nah, <laughs> I think you should go, McCoy. This is your case now. 
So who do you want, Erica? Oikeastaan uh, vai työpari? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, John joutuu nyt kyllä töihin. I want to do this on my own. Go ahead, Red. No, that's not right. I need to figure out all the details before focusing my energy. All right, just like Rose taught me, focus on three things and three things only. Okay, I'm going to to the I need to get into the room. All right, Mr. Goodman. I'm only here because of what you showed me. I know. And I wouldn't have brought you here if this wasn't important. Oh, I'm not talking. I'm not comfortable. How can I make you feel better? I'm a little hungry. Um. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. Don't take long. McCoy? Red? The guy isn't cooperating. Any ideas? Uh, no. <laughs> Go ahead, Red. Jotain todella terveellistä. Ah, oh, great. Jos jo äkivaltaa ratkaisisi asia. Works every time. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good. What's my name? Better be honest. How about something sweet? <laughs> oh, now I'm Thank gonna. You. So, will you help me now, Mr. Goodman? Call me Robert. Thank you. <laughs> Your wife, Sarah. Beautiful woman. Very kind. She didn't deserve what happened to her. You don't believe she committed suicide? I didn't believe it was possible at the time. There's new information, and... I've spent a long time trying to convince you people she hadn't killed herself. But that was such a long time ago. Sir, I'm a firm believer that it's never too late for justice. We may have made a terrible mistake. Yeah, tell that to Agent Davies and Agent McAdams. Are they listening? Agent, those still are very painful memories to me. I'll help you. But I don't see the point in all of this anymore. Sarah is gone, and that's something that will never change. Did you or your wife have any enemies? Anyone who might have wanted to kill her? You already have all that information in your case files. Do you have any new information or not? I 
I don't have a reason to. Those two don't work together. I don't have a. Do you know this man? Well, that's horrible. Why are you showing this to me? Trust me, I wouldn't show you if I didn't need to. We found him dead last night. Wait. That's... I do know that man. Do you know his name? Yes, of course. He... Uh, I don't... I don't remember. Anything that you can help with. Where do you know him from? Anything? I'm sorry, Agent. I just... I don't remember. My lord. I haven't seen that thing in ages. Hetkinen. It belonged to my wife. May I? It was an anniversary gift. Where did you find it? I visited her grave. I used to do that, religiously, day after day, and until I just stopped. It's a thing of beauty, just like she was. Hmm. Then psychopath is not going to let it go. No, that's not right. All right, just like Rose taught me, focus on three things and three things only. Robert, I need you to think back and look for the name of this man in the picture. I'm trying. Remembering the last time I met with my wife, he came up in that conversation. I just can't remember well. The details are... Uh... Robert, please try to think back to that moment. Have you ever lost someone you love, Agent? You want to hold on to the memories for as long as you can. But they dissipate through the years. And then all you're left with are the fragments, small moments. I've tried for too long to hold on to a ghost, and it didn't get me anywhere. Now I don't want to remember. Robert, I know exactly what it is to lose someone you love. I lost my brother to a murderer. And I know what it is to chase ghosts, too. But there is a real chance here that if you're right, if your wife was indeed murdered, we may find this person. So please, help us. It was the last time we met. We were at a train station. I was about to leave on a business trip, again. Sarah was sad. She didn't want me to go. She hated this town. I can't... I can't make anything out of this. My visions are too confused. Maybe I should pay Rose a visit. Okay. Rose, Rose in one of the account. Robert, please stay here. I have to get something done. <laughs> Don't take long. Jätetään vaan tää kuulustelu. Nyt Johnilla ei oo mitään muuta te... I'm talking to this man. I need to help him remember something. I can see his memories... somehow. But there are pieces that are missing. Things he can't recall. People sometimes bury details. But you'd be surprised how much they can remember if pointed in the right direction. Like when the sweet smell of a bakery reminds you of mom's delicious baked goods. Hmm. Right. But how can I figure what will trigger him to remember? But you can do much more than just that. 
You can see what they think they have forgotten. He's a little twitchy already. If I start telling him this stuff... That is not the way to go about it. You can use your own mind to help them without pronouncing a single word. Think of it as a kind of regression. 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 How? Mm. Is there anything in particular you want to remember, my dear? Sometimes I wish I could go back to the time when... when my brother was killed. Oh, my dear. Are you sure this is something you want to do? It can be very damaging to your soul, a thing like that. I went to the cemetery today, and something's been bugging me ever since. I can't put my finger on what, so I'd like to try to remember. As you wish, I will be here to help you. Close your eyes. Go back to that moment, that day. Remember what happened. I can see him, but I can't quite remember. What is fuzzy to you right now? It's silly, but I can't remember the color of his jacket. What else? I don't know if he was calm or angry or sad. I can't remember. I always see him angry at me. Angry at... Try to remember what it really was, not the memory you've painted since. Tell me when you are ready, my dear. That wasn't it. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah. Let me try again. No, that wasn't it. Are you sure you want to continue? Yeah. Let me try again. Now focus again. Focus on the actual regression and finish that memory you have just manipulated back into what it was. Ah, toilet, Sierra. Are you okay? I'm fine. Cordelia? Who? Someone I met today. She knows you. I stole a flower from her brother's grave. <laughs> I'm such a horrible person. Who does that? What kind of a person forgets to bring flowers to her brother and steals them from another grave? <laughs> calm down, my dear. He was calm, Scotty. He had this expression on his face. He knew he would die. He, he had such a calm expression for my sake he knew i had failed but you are still trying my dear and he knows that wherever he is he knows that Okay, let's see what I can make of this. Se on kolme kuvaa selkeä. Numero ykkönen. Ah, se en muista minkä värinen se... Sarah was a very beautiful woman. So sad. 
I can't figure out what color dress she was wearing. Do you remember what color dress she was wearing that day? Why are you asking me these questions? It could help you remember details. I can't remember. Your wife was beautiful. Yes, she always will be. He took a picture of her. Maybe this could help trigger more memories. Oh. They made a nice couple. I need to gather more info. I need to gather more. Do you remember the date when this happened? No, I don't. Sorry, Agent. Robert, I want you to listen to this and tell me if it brings back any memories. Mr. Goodman, let's go back to that last meeting with her. Was your wife upset that night? Our anniversary was last Wednesday. She was sad I was going to spend another one away. Uh, okay. So we had dinner at our favorite restaurant. But I had to leave from there, so we walked to the closest train station. I looked at my cell phone when I was leaving, and I told her it was our time. <laughs> Inside joke. I handed her a note. But the note, sir. Any information you can give me from here? The time. 9.30 p.m. It was something that Sarah and I always remembered from some date we had when we started going out. That was the time that night. Yes. What about the note? What did the note say? I don't remember. Don't you wish sometimes we could go back in time? I would have never left her that night. What would I need to reenact that time? No, that's not right. No, that's not... Can you remember the... The time. Can you remember... The time. Okay, that... Do you remember... No. Robert, do you remember... This should help. Okay, let me look for that restaurant's name to help Robert. Boston ja Thai. There we go. This should help Robert. McCoy? Red. 
I need to know what that damn note says. Wouldn't your power help you? No, it doesn't. Unless... Unless I reenacted whatever happened back then. This is a crazy idea, but let's see if it works. No police lasa tällä hyppu kahvi kuppi mukana ihan hyvin. Räädetään nyt loputkin. I don't know if this is going to work, but I'll give it a try. Curry place. Copley on lähempänä. Voisin arvata, että se on todennäköisesti se. No, uh, I remember clearly. I took a picture of Sarah before we walked down to Copley Station. Sarah had that look on her face. I knew exactly what it was. God, this station is dirty. They need the janitor from our station. What's his name again? Mr. Longmore. Anthony. Anthony, yes. He's a nice man. <laughs> yeah. He's one of the only friends I have. Okay. You have to make an effort to like this city. It feels like our life is a long string of goodbyes. And hellos. Sarah, you know this is what I do for a living. Here. I wrote this for you. I could only find a napkin. I love you, Sarah. Your train is here. I'll be back before you know it. That was the last time I ever saw her alive. After I found her hanging in our apartment, my job, none of it made sense anymore. You have your name now. Am I free to go, Agent Reed? Se on vielä jotenkin liittyy tuohon edelliseen murha, murhauhriin, joka myöskin löytyi äh, hirttäytyneenä tai hirtettynä. Tiedämme siis nyt, että se ei ollut itse murha. Have you seen any good memories lately? I have one for you. Search for Amy Lewis. I'm sure it'll ring a bell or two. Oh. Who the hell is sending me these? Ah, uh, okay. Anthony Longmore worked for the T. This is our guy. Hmm. Another hanging, ruled as a suicide, but I have a feeling it's another murder. I'll have to check on this case later. For now, I'll focus on the Goodman case. Who's sending me these messages? I don't need to request. Anthony Long. 
Antony Long. That was pretty bumpy, my boy. McCoy? Red? Do you have an address? Yeah, heading there now. Coming? Ah, <laughs> no. Too many donuts. You take Sully with you. <laughs> Great. What? He worked on the case. Did he put you up to this? Uh. Hey, Cupid a fat ass too? Uh huh. I just got a message in my phone pointing me to another victim. Another girl found hanged in her house two years ago. So what's on your mind? I think we're looking at a serial killer. The real question is why would the killer change his patterns all of a sudden? What do you mean? A solo is Miss Wangi Lassa. Tamuten totta. His previous victims passed as suicides. This was an obvious murder. Guy got tired of dancing and wants to get caught? I don't know. This seems too complicated in a way. It seems almost like a game. It's not <clears throat> common, but killers do change MO from time to time. Maybe. I'm going to go back to my work. Go get him, Red. Hey, Sully. Hi, Erica. Minä nappaamaan rikollisia. I need you to come with me. Lunch? Would you drop it with that damn lunch? We got work to do. I thought you didn't want me to come with you. Well, yeah, I do now. Hurry up before I change my mind. Huh. Keskustassa. I got the keys from the landlord. Two points for diplomacy. Hey, you know me. I'm a charmer. He mentioned that Longmore was going to move out at the end of the month. What are we looking for? Anything that can tell us why this guy was killed. Doesn't seem used much. He must get a lot of takeout. What's the combination to this thing? Fingerprint bypass. <laughs> what do I do now? Okay, let's try this. There we go. Who the hell is sending me these? This guy again. Who the hell is he? Samuel Sewell was one of six judges that sentenced 19 men and women in the Salem Witch Trials in Salem, Massachusetts. Of all the judges, he was the only one who later repented, taking all of the blame and shame for the sins he had committed by sentencing the innocent people to death by hanging. The case of Judge Sewell provides a very interesting view on how the power of governmental agencies can, 
if abused, act against the same people who elected them and whom they are sworn to protect. Had Samuel Sewell and his fellow judges investigated the cases further and not opted for superstitious view, the whole tragedy could have been averted. A memory card? Okay. These look like pieces of the same picture. She's Who is this person? Victim. Ne She's my next victim. She's my next victim. 6174. What is all that? Let's look at it. This is our guy, Longmore. So he's kept a file on himself? Let's see. Looks like he worked in public transportation in New York and Memphis. He was charting his weight every few days. He has a detailed account list of all the movies he's seen this year, and women he noticed while in the theater. This file has info on three different women, all from Memphis. And things in here. A candy wrapper, a few long strands of hair, a long handwritten dialogue between one of the women and someone else. The women's names are Carolyn Palmer, Megan Martha, and Beth Williams. Elizabeth, it looks like Longmore had a pretty detailed fantasy life with you. Lots of notes on it. He knew where you lived, too. Hmm. 730 Joy Street. Looks like he tracked you for some time, Amy. Address is at 1170 Melrose. This is the one that's not a surprise. Sarah, murdered in her house at 514 Chestnut Street. Oh, maybe I'm just exhausted right now, but sometimes this shit gets to me. Okay, was a Saria Murhaya. There are three women profiled. I'll look at those other cases. Sarah Good. Sully, call someone in the department and find more on these women. You got it. Hey, Martin. <laughs> no, yeah, I need you to look a few things over for Windows me. Phone. Yeah, I have a couple of names for you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Right, okay, the first one. Okay, we got some info here. These women were all suicides, except for Emily Carlson in New York. They never caught the killer, but it was an obvious murder. The third woman in New York, Nadia Schwartz, hasn't been reported as missing or dead. Sully, Anthony Longmore was a killer. You think? What's our evidence? <laughs> he was lonely, man. Uh... Those women from the safe are his victims. He took those photographs. And he's been doing it for years, until someone stopped him last night. He was in Tennessee first, and then in New York. He killed these women, and he had a pattern. Kunnes joku murhasi hänet. Groups of three. He kills in groups of three. How do you know? Two reasons. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh, he was moving out soon. Yeah. And... He's killed three victims in every state except for New York. Se Look at the boxes. You mentioned the landlord said he was moving out. He was done here, ready to go on to the next city. He killed in threes all the time. But what happened in New York? Why is Nadia Schwartz still alive? Because of Emily Carlson's case. 
They almost caught him. He fled New York before his work was done there, and he could never get to Nadia Schwartz. It's clear, even the way he met his victims. How? He met, he met them through public transportation. He worked there. That's where he targeted his victims. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. But if this piece of shit was murdered last night, done in the same way that he killed his victims, then who killed him? Good question. And why did they send clues to Davies? This is a hell of a mind screw. We gotta keep looking. It's a bunch of tools, lots of rope, and get this, even some nooses. I also found this. Hello, hello. I've been looking for you. Good job, Sully. Oh. I got it. It's all together now. There are some letter sliders here. Uh, who repented? Samuel. Uh, I can't move. I can't move. There has to be something here. There are some letter sliders. Mutka mikä ei kuitenkaan toimi. Hmm, a keyhole. No, mulla on pieni avain. There we go. I should be able to move the letters now. Samuel, you There has to be. Kirjaan ei ollut M, se valla. There are some letter sliders here. Creepy. Huh. What's this? It's a memory card. Uh, 
Sitten kortin lukijaa vaan. Let's see what happens. What game do you want me to play now? Useimmat psykopaatikkona metsästä, että sillä ei tietyllä alueella, että niinku... Maantieteellisesti saadaan niinku... Just nää kaikki, vai onko nää... Nää on niitä murhapaikkoja. Hey, isn't that you got it? The old South Meeting House? Yeah, what's that got to do with anything? Sully, look at this. Over three centuries ago, Samuel Suo repented in the old South Meeting House for atrocities he once helped alone. Huh. Tonight someone new will take the blame and shame. There's something loading. As long as it's not a bomb. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. <laughs> Drop it, you ass. We make a good team, don't we? Ah. Sully, it's Davies. She's a target. Hey, my cat's a bomb on her cat. How do you know? I, I got. Trust me on this. We gotta get to the meeting house now. Move it. You saw it. Tost, tosta kuvasta otettu niga. We're pulling in right now. Erica, wait for backup. John, Davies could be in there. Did you try her phone? She's not picking it up. No one's heard from her all day. Get your ass here quick. We're pulling in. I'm on my way. What's the plan? Check out the bell tower out front. I'll head into the main building hall from the side door. Be careful. You too. Won't work there. That won't work there. That won't work there. That's cool, Bob. This is not going to work with this. It's too far away. Let's try. 
Ja. Mä saa sen ampumaan tuota kuitenkin. Vaikea tämä osattomuus ei johtaa. Sen päällä arvoi kuvaa tuollaista. Ei mennyt ihan hyvin. Ei mennyt niinku strömsöissä. Tietenkin tuonne Erikan voimat petti. Sen tossa lopussa. Saavut av avattu Notavich. <laughs> If you walked in through that door, that a million... Tää oli eka episodi, näitä on neljä. Muistaakseni kakkonen ei ollut ihan niin järjestävä. Don't need to please 